night Dancing in the dark now everyone, I am right now, I had to go do another paint sample, still trying to figure out a color that the homeowners want to paint a house that we are finishing up that way. Now I'm going that way. And I'm going to a house that we had previously finished, however there was a problem with a doorknob. This uh, we finished a while back. Um, the doorknob took a long time to get here, so we got the doorknob in and I'm going to go put the doorknob on. I do you want to show you the house that I'm going to be, that we did, it was a little country home. We did a small addition to it. Uh, we completely revamped the inside. Like we restructured the roof, took out walls, structural walls, um, completely redesigned the inside and totally changed the way the inside of this house looks. This is the little ranch house. I mean, it's a little, but it's bigger than what I live in right now. Um, this is a little ranch house that we did. I'm going to show you a little bit. So, we of course repainted it. It was all rock across the front. We changed out the rock on the front porch to be hardy board and make it look old and retro. much redid we redid the whole thing so we redid all new ac all new ac ducts all new plumbing electric and we gutted the whole inside and redid the whole inside so i'll take you in and i'll show you all right get ready for the reveal ready you know what yeah you know, i'm gonna do this again because the lights are off and it makes a huge difference take two all right here's a little ranch house this this Looks a lot better. I think I have all the lights on. Okay, ready? Here we go. This is much better. So, I think it's adorable. I would totally move into this house. This is like, this is awesome. I loved it. I love the whole design process that we did on this because previously you'd walk in, here's the front door, just so you can get a perspective. Here's the front door. We redid all the windows as well, so it's all, the whole house is updated. Um, whenever you would walk in the front door previously, this wall was all the way over and there was a tiny little doorway right there. Okay, so there was a wall all the way across here. There used to be a doorway straight through here, so we walled that off because that went to the hallway. The living room, this was all the same, but you would, you used to, walk through here and then there was a wall that came out here wall came across right here all the way to about here the doorway used to be right here into the hallway but we moved it over to here in order to get more kitchen space since this whole section right here was taken out so we took out that wall we took out this wall over here because this actually was the hot water heater the furnace was in here and this was a pantry and everything so we ripped out all that this we kind of reframed it a little bit just to fit the barn doors correctly so we had the barn doors that we installed. This over here, we installed a mantle on it. Basically just re-sheetrock this room. It had paneling, actually had this paneling running all the way around the whole thing. So we took it off and we just did one wall. We had to take it all off because we had to insulate and do all new electricity and insulation and everything. So then we put it on and we painted it white just to have a kind of like an accent wood wall. We did the island, redid all the cabinets. So it's all brand new cabinets. This is like a chef's pantry style. So you open up this and it has all of the, the goods inside of it. We did all appliances, everything, backsplash, and did a bigger window. I think, yeah, we did a bigger window. Um, we did all the windows. We left all the exterior doors just because they're the old vintage look. And so we took a lot of effort to get them, get them working correctly, but we got them working correctly. Um, new granite on the tops. And then you come into here and a little bit changed in this whole section and i'll see if i can show you so we redid this whole bathroom we gutted it 
put new floor in, put built a shower because it did have a, I think it had a tub. Gosh, I don't even remember. I installed floating shelves. That was a cool process. I don't know if I have any pictures of that. If I have any pictures, I'll show you. Don't know if I have any pictures of that whole process. Got that all done. Got new cabinets. Did the farm sink come into here? Um, did the bedroom. This is actually where the washer dryer used to be, but that is inside of this hallway closet, which this is the handle that went bad. So got a double stacked full size washer and dryer in there. This closet right here pretty much stayed the same. We just altered them a little bit. Um, let's see, go into here. I'm trying to remember everything. All of this. Okay, so we did alter that closet. We added this, this room right here, the closet used to be over in this corner. We instead cut it out and sunk it into here. So there's a closet for the other room right here. This room has a closet and then right in this section is a hallway linen closet of sorts. So this is the kid's bunk bedroom. Then you come into here and this doorway used to be, yeah, used to be right here because there was another wall that came out and then went straight across right here. And then the doorway to the master was here because the doorway into the living room was here. So we walled that off. We took this whole closet out because we built an addition and then we added the master here. So it made the master flow a little bit better. The master comes over. Now this right here was a window. There was just a window here. There was a wall going here and there was a closet here. And then the old closet for that room was here. So by eliminating all that, we had to move the closet into the other wall. Here we did the addition, we poked out, we came into the master, all new cabinetry, lavatory, shower, closet, everything is all new in here. And I think it turned out great. I'm gonna set the camera down right there, right there, and I'm just gonna change the knob real quick and then I gotta get out of here. Okay. Ah. ah, let me show you this. All right, so this is frustrating. I could very easily. Mmm. Ah, it makes me mm, frustrated. All right. Door handle's installed, but it doesn't go down. It goes up, which means I have to take the whole thing and flip it around. But in doing that, what ends up happening is um, the screws are on the outside and I don't want the screws on the outside just cause it looks better with these on the outside. So what I now have to do is I have to take the internals apart, flip the little bracket that shows which way to go or which way it stops and put it all back together. Hold. Turn it off. Yeah. I'm going to just pile it all up in the center. Yeah, as we just, I know I need a load of stuff. There's two bags in there. All right, let's see how it runs. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's really, it's pretty tight. Yeah. And I bet if you turned it off, drove around to your next spot. Okay. Yeah, we just tested it. It flows pretty good, but there isn't, it isn't that much of a steep angle on the bumper. So as he's driving the bumps, this is actually a pretty smooth section up at the ranch and stuff is a little bit bumpier because of ruts and everything. So it's gonna work out pretty good. I know I've not shown you much of the baby. So because I've been just hanging out with the baby. 
and just cuddle in the baby. I know that's something you guys want to see, but every time I have the baby, I'm just gonna hold it. I'm not holding the camera, I'm just holding the baby. And this is this is all for another project that I have going on. Um, these are all empty, as you can see, because I can't lift. Sorry, nope, sorry. I can't lift 55 gallon drums that are full. So I'm gonna go home tonight. I'm actually trying to get out of here in order to stop at a battery store and pick up a full wheeler for or a battery for the full wheeler. I am wanting to, and let me know what you guys think. I'm wanting to actually have several videos of just like a mashup of the kids doing stuff or us doing stuff or me doing stuff of just old videos so just put a couple videos out on youtube or something of uh just a whole bunch of old videos cropped together maybe i can put some dialogue in between them of some sort to kind of prep you up on what's going on because some of them may be a little bit confusing if i just kind of throw them in your face and say here watch this oh so if i do that would you guys be interested let me know let me know what your thoughts are uh i think it'd be fun it's a whole bunch of old stuff uh, or I can do something like, uh, let me think of something. Okay, here. Here is a picture, possible video, because I don't know what I have, of S S Trenton. Uh, I just bought him a motorcycle, PW50. Here is Trenton riding on the motorcycle with me for the first time. And he had a blast ever since he was born. I've had him on, the, on a motorcycle. So, those abs. You are girl. What do you think? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> what is your poop face? Look at that face. She's thinking. Can we see her leggings? Look at these things. They just go up and cover her legs in her onesie. They're a little big. That's okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was making the video. Cannon, yeah. Do Taekwondo on the champion. Taekwondo? Was Cannon here today? No, tomorrow. But he does it with. Oh, he does yeah. it with, yeah. So on Wednesdays stories, when we come over. His stories all tend to run together. You never know what year or month. <laughs> that's not, that's how I used to be, so. <laughs> I, <know how> that <laughs> I used to type out paragraphs to people, and it was like four different things with no periods or exclamation yeah, marks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every time you get a text from you, you'll be like, Mom, do you know what he's saying? <laughs> Where is she? Lindy. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. All right. So, this morning I picked up the metal from the metal fabricators. 20, 25, 30. And they actually made me an extra one. So now I have actually 33. And these boys are going to go up on the beams in that house that we have built going on and uh yeah there's just going to be four bolts in it That's pretty much it so and now we got to figure out what color we're going to paint them and then install them so we'll see how this turns out a quick little snip bit i am taking a brazilian nut and a classic cray and i'm doing a percentage of 50 50 30 70 70 30 Okay, the colors are mixed. I'm not. I'm not doing a 70/30. Uh, the same. Yeah, you, 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 you get it. You get it. Okay. So I'm going to. I just mixed up. I'm doing the 30/70. So I put in 30% of this, 70% of this. So 30% of classic gray, 70% of Brazilian nut. I am on a oak material. Different samples of blends, and we're going to see which one the interior decorator likes the most. Gale. Sample. Sample. Samples. All right. So. I have to move all of that base pile, spread it out, and make a driveway that connects this base pile over to that little garage. And I figured why not have you guys come along? So, have fun! everyone you know at one point in your day when you think everything's going peachy 
Then you start grading out some concrete or some gravel and uh, you're on an off camber slope and one of your teeth is digging in a little bit too much and this happens. Yeah, that, that happened. That happened to uh, not me. And it, this wasn't my project. This was uh, this was somebody else's project. I'm just I'm just fixing this. This looks exactly like the project I was current, like I was working on grading out gra driveway and stuff. But uh, okay, this is my project. All right, I have a new pipe. I have new couplers. I have a saw. I'm gonna fix it. Like I mean, I'm gonna get to work and I'm not gonna hit the pipe again. Yeah, I can't believe I did that. Alright. Bye bye. Alright. Take a look at that. In all its glory. New pipes in. As you can see. And Five minutes longer than it was supposed to maybe an hour maybe an hour longer i have to load up a tank into the back of my truck to get home and throw away this trash and then get home so a minute ago whenever i said i need to load up a tank you're probably thinking hey jesse you already have two propane tanks why would i say i need to load another one when that's just not a very that's not a very mentionable task and this is why this is why I'm telling you I need to load another propane tank because I'm taking that one home. I'm, I'm taking that big, big propane tank home. It is empty. I've double checked it's empty. And I'm going to load this in the back of the truck and I'm going to strap it down like no other. <laughs> I've wanted to take this home for quite some time and then I decided, you know what? I actually have an empty truck. I'm gonna make this happen. Let's do this. Yeah, it, it wasn't quite like that. It was just kind of like, hey, um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this home because uh, um, it's getting winter again and I don't like having to switch tanks all the time. Because uh, we go through about two tanks a week, so that means I have to take two tanks, go get them filled, bring them back a week later, take those two tanks, get them filled, while the other two tanks are being worked, and so we don't run out of propane. And that is actually what happened on the night of Tristan's birth. Let me take you. I'm not taking you back. I gotta get home. Okay, so on the night of Tristan's birth, I'll just take you real quick. We were out of propane. Wendy had to go to her mom to take a shower, and that's where she went into labor, and that's where we had Trenton instead of at our house where everything was at and prepped. There's a lot more to that story. Hello! Trenton's out here. It looks like they're right here. <laughs> what are you guys watching? What's up, big boy? Girl. Mwah. This is Lainey. What's up? Hey, sweetheart. Hi, sweetie. Oh. oh, don't cry. No, no, no cry. Oh, don't cry. Oh, don't cry. Oh, you're doing great. Mm. Try not to get you with my puppy whiskers. We're gonna have a dance party. Ready? Alright guys, so I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. And it's because we got a lot of stuff going on. Some families in town. Uh, we are possibly gonna play some games tonight. If we do play some games, I'm gonna ask him if I can get the camera out. And if I can get the camera out and get a little bit of game footage because we rock card games and board games. We freaking love games. Show everybody around you that you're thankful. Hug your kids. Tell them that you're thankful that they are in your life. Because they're, they're truly amazing. Kids are amazing. At least my kids are. I, mean, I don't know what your opinion is about your kids. So, thanks for watching. Go out, create something, and stay positive. You'll see me when you see me.
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm feeling good.